Hey everyone, welcome to Abstract Boss. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I do my alcohol ink on wood. Yes, wood is normally a porous surface, but I'm gonna teach you how you can do the alcohol inks on wood and make it look fantastic. Look at that. That is sealed with art resin right on top. You see the reflection of my beautiful window in it. Oh. So I will be showing you guys how to do that and stay tuned because I have a huge announcement at the end. Yay! Let's get started. All right, so of course you need the basics. Heat gun, your piece of wood, your alcohol inks. I'm gonna be using the copper from Pinata. Uh, this one is, um, that's like a magenta or something. I don't see a color listed on here though. Well, that sucks. I'll try to find the kit thing that I got that from. And then I'm trying this new color. I'm in love. It's sepia and it is amazing. I had posted a picture on my Instagram with, um, the sepia and the corally color. It's salmon from ranger inks as well and it is beautiful i love it i love it i love it so just um something to keep in mind if you notice all that glitter kind of or the metallic kind of piles at the bottom so just shake it as best you can and then i decided i'm going to throw in a special surprise here i want you guys to see what happens when you use the same type of wood this is the exact same type of wood it's just a different animal and uh, there we go um it's just a different animal okay and i cut this thingy off of this one um just because some people like them as like serving trays some people um want to hang them but they don't like this thing so they could put like a metallic thing on the back honestly just you know leave it up to your customers so yeah and then plus it's really hard to resin with this thing on and it made it like super stiff and crazy so i just decided to cut them all off so i will be cutting this one off but i'm going to show you guys this is with no protection this is with protection and the protection is kills to latex um and then it says multi-surface stain blocker okay so you guys can get that add that into your alcohol ink repertoire the heat gun, um, I'm outside by the way, so I have my extension cord hooked up. You don't really need a lot of stuff when you're working with alcohol inks, it's pretty simple. And that's actually what I freaking love, 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 love about them, okay? I love the simplicity because sometimes you just get too overwhelmed with all the art stuff out there. Um, so this is kind of nice to just bring you back to center. And I have a little squirt bottle of alcohol ink, I have a little spray bottle of alcohol ink. This one's Jane Davenport that I got from Michaels. Um, let's see, did I miss anything? I don't think so. So I'm gonna jump right into it. When you are painting on top of the kills, this is, you know, kind of roughed up. I <laughs> kind of had it stored badly, but whatever. <laughs> so really the biggest thing that you wanna do is figure out how you want everything to lay out. Do you want it to just be organic and have both the colors together or do you want to have them split? Which in this case, I am gonna do split because every time I do this dog, I do organic. So I wanna have them split. So I'm gonna work on one color first. Notice how the alcohol is just um, sitting right up on top of there. I'm just doing a little bit, going down, figuring out where I want this to be. And then I'm gonna go in and pick my color and drippity drop. Oh, this is totally not gonna be even. My table is slanted, I just realized. Ideally, it's best when you don't have a slanted table. Um, and then jump right in with your heat gun. Oh, look at that color though. And push it around, just like you normally would. This is the one that I did on my bear that I freaking love. I am gonna do another one because I only have one bear left and it sold, um, so that last bear I want for myself because I loved it so much and it just reminds me of home. I'm from Montana. No matter how long I've been away, I am from Montana. I miss it so much. And so that bear just kind of was my way of being home, you know? And so it kind of shocked me that it sold the very first day because I didn't resonate 
Um, and I was like, you know, hey, if anyone wants it, it's not resin, so I'll do five bucks off. And so they took it, they took it immediately, and I was actually really sad. I was like, why, why'd you have to take it? <laughs> so, um, excuse me. And you know what, I think this needs to have a little bit more, so I'm gonna kinda come up this way a bit. And then add some in these areas that didn't get too much color. Ooh, you guys, I'm getting chills. Like, I'm really loving doing this outside. This is like fan freaking tastic. Should I travel more when I do this? Go like chill out at a coffee shop and record for you guys? That'd be pretty cool. All right, look at that color. Yeah, I'll look at my Amazon history and try to find um, this color for you because this one isn't listed. It doesn't say. So, I'm sorry. Ooh, on top of this white though, it dries to almost like an eggplanty-ish color. It's pretty. I like it. I'm just adding it in a couple areas. You can add it by putting more alcohol or the alcohol blending solution. Um, and then coming right back over top with some more. Which I am going to come back over top with more. I just want to have everything laid down first. Um, the alcohol blending solution is a little bit better at not taking all the color away. Like if you guys see, I forgot to put some color there, so it took all that color away. Um, the alcohol did. The alcohol blending solution wouldn't do that. Um, so, you know, just pick your poison, play with it how you want. And then um, something that I like to do after I get my first layer down is I will take and spray some of the alcohol ink so I can determine whether or not I like the spray effect on this particular animal or if I don't. So um, I'm just going to jump right in, finish this last half with the sapia um, color that I am in love with. And then I'm going to jump over, before we do any more, I'm going to jump over um, onto that cow and do the same thing um, so you can see the color difference. Okay, this one looks a little weird when it's out, but once it's flat, it looks really cool. Look at that. And once I do more of this maroon color, that's gonna look so cool. The sapia is nice because it does have a really vibrant color. It's a lot like the pinata inks, which most of the ranger inks don't have a very vibrant color in my opinion. Like, look at this, it's not as vibrant. Um, so you have to layer it more and more and more, but it does get more vibrant as you go. So what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna give a quick spray on both and see if I like that effect. Hmm, I kind of like it on here, maybe up here. I don't know, we'll just leave that as a under, under barrier. <laughs> okay, so now I also have my copper and the big thing about working with metallics and alcohol inks is that you have to have the alcohol underneath. If you don't, they will not spread very well. So I'm just creating a quick line and I'm gonna put some copper on here and I'm gonna spread it. I'm loving it. All right, so um, I'm not gonna worry too much about finishing all of this just yet. I wanna take you guys over to the regular piece of wood and let you watch my experiment and see what happens. Um, honestly, I've never done it straight on to this type of wood, but I mean, I feel like it would be very porous, so let's see what happens. I'm very, very curious. Oh yeah, look at that. It's already absorbing the alcohol, so I'm kind of having to move at a quicker pace and loading more alcohol on than I had to with the latex paint. And let's jump in. Jump, 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 jump. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Speed painting. Oh, 
totally not as cool. Well, now you guys can see. I don't even want to waste my ink. Look at that. Some of the wood is actually showing back through. Um, that's just, oh my gosh. Wow. I mean, super cool experiment, but definitely, I don't like it. But maybe, hey, maybe that'll inspire you guys to do something. Maybe you love this look and it's a cool, grungy look and you want it for whatever the heck reason. Uh, but I don't so I'm not gonna waste my ink I'm actually gonna go ahead and stop with this one and I'm gonna cover that with latex paint later and go back over top of it but let's go ahead and finish off this guy so with my alcohol I'm just coming back in and I'm gonna do just tiny chunks at a time because I really want some vibrant color now at this point point. and you just want to rock it back and forth Oh man, look at that. That's pretty. Okay. Beautiful colors. More in there. Ooh, cool. I like it. So, a big difference between the Ranger inks and the Pinata inks that I've noticed is that I do have to use a lot more ink when I'm using my Ranger inks to get the color that I want. I personally love the vibrant colors. So for me, I want um, very dark, vibrant pieces. And so in order to do that, it seems like a lot of the Ranger inks are very pastel, um, kind of pastel-like. So that's really hard for me to do. Let's see here. Oh, um, and I just wanted to say welcome to my new subscribers. You guys are amazeballs, and I am super happy that you guys are here. Um, I don't do voiceovers. I'm actually talking as I do this, uh, mostly because I want you guys to be a part of the process. I want you to hear everything that I'm doing, everything that I'm thinking. I feel like that actually helps a lot of people. Um, so that's really kind of why I've been doing that. Um, I don't know, I might do voiceovers later but I really enjoy this I feel like I'm talking to friends and helping people and teaching friends or students and that really gets me excited so I don't want to jump into voiceovers just yet um, yeah but if you guys don't like me talking just mute me I do not care I still can teach you cool stuff on mute <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's so pretty, it's so pretty. I think I'm running out of time too. I gotta go get my kiddo. Almost done here. And then all you do is you layer it with some resin on top. I do use the art resin on top of these. I feel like um, I want these to be food safe, kid handling safe, like I don't want any issues. So I do wanna use the art resin whenever I'm topping these. Really glad I'm doing this outside. There's a lot of alcohol. Okay, let's go back up into some sepia. Sepia. So um, once you're happy with what you have on top, it's up to you. If you like the big, less textured look, then try to do it all in one layer. If you like all the many lines and the depth that you get because of the darks and the lights, then try to do as many layers as you can. Um, the issue that I know 
For me personally, I do not enjoy it when the sides are not finished. That is just my own preference. Um, I know I've done some that I do not finish the sides because I didn't understand that it was so important, but now I do. So um, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I finish my sides. It's really not difficult. You just wanna pick it up and I take the ink and I don't really squeeze too hard and I just allow it to just kind of drip off and color in the areas that I have missed. Okay, so oh, let me see if I can get that right there. I can't even see this. I'm doing this all from the reflection on my camera. <laughs> but yeah, you just do that. And if it's too dark, add some alcohol, blending solution right on top of it. Um, but that's how you finish your sides. And then you take into your other color once you're closer to the opposite side and just allow it to come out. Squeeze a little if you need it to. But fill in those blank spaces. And then, yeah, that's it, guys. It's very simple. It's lots of fun. So, yeah. I will also sign the back and everything, too. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and seal it with resin and that's it and then I will list it on my website for sale so if you guys are interested in purchasing anything from me go check out abstractboss.com um, if you want to know the materials that I use I have pretty much everything listed on um, my website as well abstractboss.com or yeah ask questions I'll do the best I can I'll send links where I can. Um, I try to be as helpful as possible. If I have missed something from you guys too, please just message me. Um, yeah, because somehow I've been miss missing some messages. Facebook's not notifying me. So Instagram is the easiest way to message me. Um, but yeah, or comment below. Those are like the easiest methods or email. But Facebook is really weird and I don't know why it stopped like notifying me. So yeah, anyways, if you guys like this video, oh yeah, stay tuned for the announcement. The big announcement is that I am gonna do a geode live every single day of the week next week. So that is Monday through Sunday, and it's going to be eight o'clock Eastern time. Okay. Whether you guys are coastal, mountain, Pacific, uh, yeah, figure that out because it'll be anywhere from 5 to 8 uh, depending on where you guys live and I would love to have you guys come join me. They're gonna be fantastic. I want to do more Kiss of the Irish one that I did. Um, it's going to be awesome. So there's gonna be lots of texture, lots of art resin. It's gonna be beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I love like the marbling effect with like the white and gold there. Ah, I love it. So Please come join. Don't forget to like tag people. I mean, you can't, I guess not tag people, but like share it. <laughs> Just copy the link and share. Um, so that way you guys do not miss it. Make sure you hit the bell so that way it notifies you as soon as I'm live. But now you guys know you're in the know. So eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Sunday. And I'm gonna have a special guest here. You guys have no idea who it is because I haven't told you yet. So, yay! <laughs> Get excited. Come visit on Monday for the special, I guess. And just come visit every day because it's so much fun making geodes. Yay! All right, I hope you guys have a great day. If you guys liked the video before, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That thumbs up is a big deal. So, I will see you guys next time. I'll throw in another video before Monday is live.